Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible, and I'm sharing those with you. Today we're looking at Nehemiah chapter 13. No one ever said doing the right thing is easy. At West Point, it was drilled into me, do the harder right over the easier wrong. Nehemiah had returned to Artaxerxes, king of Persia. Upon his arrival back in Jerusalem, he was confronted with situations that threatened the well-being of Israel. First, Tobiah the Ammonite official, who had opposed Nehemiah's refortification of Jerusalem, had taken residence in a large room in the house of God. What did Nehemiah do? He threw him out. <laughs> Nehemiah 13, verse 4 to 9. Next, the officials had not properly distributed the people's tithes, which forced the Levites and singers to return to their own fields to survive. Nehemiah restored the tithes back to the Levites so that the house of God would not be forsaken. It's verses 10 to 13. After doing so, he prayed in verse 14, and I quote, Remember me for this, O my God, and do not blot out my loyal deeds which I have performed for the house of my God and its services. Now, two more times, Nehemiah had to deal with significant violations of the covenant agreement that the people had made with God. He restored the Sabbath because of foreign traders entering the city and doing business on the Sabbath day. That's Nehemiah 13, verses 15 to 22. And he stopped this practice and prayed in verse 22, and I quote, For this also remember me, O my God, and have compassion on me, according to the greatness of your loving kindness. Now, finally, like Ezra before him, Nehemiah confronted intermarriages with the local inhabitants. This is verses 23 to 31. Upon cleansing the people and restoring the priesthood to offer right sacrifices to God, he prayed in verse 31, and I quote, Remember me, O my God, for good. In every situation, Nehemiah could have done the easier wrong by turning a blind eye to sin, but instead, he did the harder right. Seize the moment and take the right next step today and trust that God will remember you and your faithfulness for good. May the God who sees give you the courage to act. Seize the moment.